What's up everybody? My name is Prince E and you are about to check out my exclusive promo video to Smoking Weed with the President. Stay tuned after the video to find out how you can help get this on President Obama's desk. Mr. President, I come to you on behalf of my generation to talk to you about this little plant situation. See, a lot of politicians hate it, but I'ma break it down and demonstrate to you why it's not as bad as they make it sound. See, you're the president that I believe can handle this. Heck, your campaign slogan was, yes, we cannabis. Hey, 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 hey. Just kidding, but seriously, let's examine this subject truthfully, dog. Look, the base see, the you talk constitutional law at Harvard, right? In 96, where well, you should know the Declaration of Independence was drafted out of hemp. So was the flag. So were the sails that pushed our ships on the path to the colonies. So was the fuel used for Henry Ford's Model T. So in a sense, you could say that pot has actually driven American history. <laughs> Please, it makes you lazy and underachieved. But how can that be when some of the most successful people smoke weed from Walt Disney to Milton Free? From Stephen King to Steve Jobs to Apple didn't fall, fall from the tree, you get it? Steve Jobs, Apple, Trees, Jobs created the Apple computer, high off weed. See, people believe that this plan is sinful. But let's go back in time and find out exactly where these beliefs came from. Cause before the 1930s, you could blaze up. But after the 1930s, things changed up. Cause that's when President Hoover commissioned a man named Harry J. Anslinger as head of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics. His middle name's ironic, cause he was the main guy attempting to demonize marijuana. Um, I mean cannabis sativa. See the name marijuana, he created as propaganda for the people to make it sound more dirty. And a little more evil, he figured if he could scare the public enough, they would want it illegal. He teamed up with newspapers who had their own motivations. Like what? Google Decorticator. The newspapers printed fake stories about how every puff destroys your brain, making you crazy, insane, prone to murder and rape. They use race and then said again that we makes white women want to get pregnant by Negroes and immigrant Mexicans. And based off of no research or investigation, Congress rubber stamped that legislation And then poof, there was a law around it So we accepted it and never thought about it But let's get smart about it Lies and greed are the real reasons that it's illegal And the reason you got that look on your face look, When I talk about it illegal for public health reasons we don't want the american people breathing that stuff in and smoking it ain't nothing wrong with a little game day buzz but marijuana is a dangerous useless gateway drug and you want me to legalize so that the kids can get it easier <laughs> well what can i say Either that's something to laugh at, or bro, you're more of a jackass than Kanye. A jackass? Okay. How about we talk about this rationally? See, every six seconds a person dies from tobacco and every 13 from alcohol. Really? Guess how many died in the last 10,000 years uh, from weed? I know you're gonna tell me. None at all. A zip zero nada, no chance to overdose. Not one case in history, and no, I'm not blowing smoke. Don't be a coward, just regulate and control it. Take the power from the drug dealers who contaminate, sell it, and own. See, they love the laws, how they are, because they make millions. When drug lords support your laws, it's time to amend them. As for the kids, yeah, I'd agree, except, except it's easier for kids to buy weed than to buy beer or cigarettes. Is that surprising? Uh, Think bit. about it, sir. How many drug dealers you know ask to see ID? Uh, and stop saying it's a gateway drug, something so strong that you can't break away from. Big homie, listen, quit being a politician. Study show it's not addictive in a gateway Wait, theory's a lot of fiction, a contradiction, and you can quote me on it. You said marijuana was a useless drug? Hold up a moment. Medical tests and evidence show it's proven to treat glaucoma, cancer, asthma, more 
multiple sclerosis It could do so much if it was legal But if it was legal, a lot of pharmaceutical drugs wouldn't be needed I did my research and it seems that What? So what is it? Big Pharma gave you millions of dollars So if we became legal, they would lose a lot of profit And you would lose funding So tell me, Mr. Presidential Is it really public health or is it special interest? Are you worried about the kids or the private businesses? Only a few years back, you was against lobbying and corporate robbery. You can't pay for change, well damn it, now demonstrate it in policy. Cause if you really want to stimulate the economy and mitigate the problems that emanate from poverty, it's time to legalize this billion dollar commodity. Uh, Harvard professor Jeffrey Myron estimated nine billion dollars generated in taxes from regulation, plus another 11 will be saved from law enforcement resources and incarceration. That's 20 billion total every year. You say in this country don't need that kind of paper Put it towards environment Invest in education Infrastructure in conjunction with job creation Or maybe a combination Just stop laughing at the situation And give it serious consideration It ain't a joke, ain't nothing funny The country's broke and its people need money It's simple economics Lincoln did it, and now you throw people in prison for this crime that we committed? Mr. President, if it's such a sin, then why don't you and the men I just named turn yourselves in? Uh, but, 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 I beg your pardon? See, I don't want to hear that circular logic. We ain't in that Oval Office. Let's be honest. If you got caught with marijuana the day you smoked, there wouldn't even be an Obama. No Barack at that prestigious college or Harvard getting his speeches polished with honors, because today... You can't get a student loan if caught with one weed cigarette But you can have a rape conviction on your record and still get a check From the government? Yo, what the fuck is this? Do you not see injustice when it's people suffering sick, dying of cancer Whose only relief is a plant proving to ease pain But that don't mean handcuffs That don't mean being called a criminal That don't mean thrown behind bars Pitiful Mr. President, this ain't political, it's commonsensical Millions in prison for something that's never killed a single individual But you make deals with prescription drug advocates When just last year more Americans died from prescriptions in their cabinets Than heroin, terrorism, murder, and traffic accidents combined Mr. President, open your eyes and see the blood on the wall These companies wouldn't care If the country was coming apart They sharks, they only care about How much it'll cost Ain't been a disease cured in 60 years Why? Cause a patient cured is a customer loss Well I say enough is enough It's time for us to fix this It's time to get away from the pharmaceutical interest Forget about the stigma Forget the opinions of politicians Cause collective ignorance don't mean wisdom Forget about pandering to the system Cause when the system's wrong sir It's your duty to go against it I urge you to reread that ninth amendment And have courage and conviction And remember your commitment to the people Cause what if it was Malia? What if she needed a drug that was illegal to survive? Will things change? Will they be a little different? Will policy remain? Put yourself in that position and nah, I'm not wishing that on you, just illustrating the consequences of this little plant situation cause a lot of politicians hate it, but I just broke it down. It's up to you to step up, sir. The time is now. I say the time is now. I hope you step up, sir. The time is now. What's up guys, hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Prince E, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're trying to do and how you can help. Not only am I an artist, but I'm also the founder of a company called Make Smart Cool. And Make Smart Cool is an organization set out to promote positive social change globally by promoting the ideals of education, collaboration, and creativity. And currently we are setting our focus on one of the most controversial topics of our time, marijuana. 
After months of researching, writing, producing, and mixing the song Smoking Weed with the President, we finally came up with what I honestly think is one of the best and most relevant projects of 2012. Because whether you smoke or not, our current marijuana laws are unfair and unjust. One in six people in prison are in there for marijuana, a plant that hasn't killed a single person in 10,000 years. Every 42 seconds, a marijuana arrest occurs. Sick people are in jail, and those who aren't in jail have to live with the risk of getting arrested just for comfort in the form of a plant which helps them live a normal, comfortable life. Don't move, you understand? Put your hands behind your back, do it now. No matter if it's legal in your state or not, the federal government has the right to arrest you if they catch you with marijuana. And they have enforced this right many times on many citizens. Perhaps one of the most important reasons I wrote the song was because of hypocrisy. Politicians and lawmakers continue to denounce marijuana publicly while later they are exposed time and time again to have been high school, undergraduate smokers. Some even smokers to this day. Had these politicians gone to jail for smoking marijuana, they certainly would not be where they are today. So why do us citizens have to get arrested and have our lives ruined by this? This is totally unfair. With that said, Make Smart Cool has partnered up with Weed Maps to start an Indiegogo campaign with the hopes of shooting a professional and educational music video and getting this video national attention and eventually on President Obama's desk before this upcoming election. We are running the Indiegogo campaign for 30 days in an attempt to raise $10,000. But this simply isn't donating to a charity. No, no, no. You will get some cool rewards so you can show your friends that you supported the cause. You can get a cool shirt, the download of the song, a personalized thank you from Obama himself, even the ability to be an extra or executive producer of the music video. I know we can do it. We live in a digital age where anything is possible. Presidents tweet, update Facebook statuses, have YouTube debates, quote Young Jeezy during White House correspondence dinners. Anything is possible in today's age. I want to do something real provocative and groundbreaking for this video, something epic. And I have the team more than qualified to do so. I would like to introduce you to... My name is Matthias Azamedia Strife, writer, thespian, director for stage and film. I'll be helping my boy Rich uh, direct this really, really, really cool video. Hey, my name is Brandon Sloan. I'm with a company called Dance Machines Productions, and I'll be the cinematographer and editor on this project. Thank you for watching this video. With your support, I know we can change these marijuana laws. Marijuana, a plant whose laws are more dangerous than the plant itself.